my name is Rebecca, never Becky, and if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, and I hope you guys have clicked and subscribed if you've come across my video. All of your support means a lot. But today, I wanna talk about the do's and don'ts of eyeshadow. I know it can be very complicated, so we're gonna try to decomplicate the situation. Let's go. Now that you guys are close up and all in my business, you can probably see all my bumps and bruises, but that's beside the point today. I'm gonna be getting my hair clipped, guys, because this is going to be a job. We're going to go ahead and put this away because I want you guys to really see how I applied my eyeshadow and you guys how I start off my base. Please, guys, believe in the primer. The primer what saves your time and your product. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by priming my lids here. I'm gonna be using my hand. You know I like to use my hand a lot. I'm going to start with one eye today and we're going to work on how can we apply it. I'm looking right now, I should have pulled a lot of this out, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a, it's a concealer brush, sorry guys, it's a concealer brush. So I'm going to take a concealer brush to apply my eye primer and I'm going to go ahead and get started right about here. And as you guys can see, I'm taking it on the base of my eye. There is concealer on my eye, so don't worry guys, you want to do this with nothing on your lid, not with anything on your lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, kinda give me the arch. I'm kinda cut creasing a little bit here, guys. So I'm gonna be using my Lisa Frank palette as an example because it has so many colors. I wanna be able to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, so just for an example, I am using all these crazy girl colors. Now the reason why I'm using this as an example, so for instance, when you're starting off with any colors that you guys are choosing to pick, you wanna go from light to dark. Um, and this kind of is your transitional color into the next color, and this color into this color. You don't have to go by that rule of thumb, but you, you can use whatever color you want, but just make sure that first color that you apply on your eye, um, it's, it's the lightest one. And then you work your way into the darker colors. Um, the theme is kind of like right there in front of you. So if you're gonna use this color, you're gonna use this color next, so on and so forth. Um, even with these blues, like you can use blues from lightest to darkest. It's, it's not always made plain and simple like that, but for this video, that's the, that's the way that I would like for you guys to learn, lightest to darkest. That's how you make transitional looks look smoother without that first harsh color. And you know, I get it as a makeup artist, you guys are like, that's overwhelming. So sometimes when I'm doing my looks, I try to, you know, have an idea of what I want before going into it. So I would definitely suggest you guys trying to start off with lighter colors and working your way in even if we're gonna do something basic. So I'm gonna show you what to do here and what not to do on this eye. So let's focus right now on what we should be doing. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is start here. And what I'm gonna do is just slightly buff this color onto my eye. I'm not gonna do anything extreme. This is just for the transition. So we're just gonna do light strokes right around the brow area. We're gonna start this high up because this is how you know, you want to start your colors. You don't want anything intense too fast. So you guys can see how that color is laying. It's not perfect and we don't want perfect, at least not right now. Now let me show you what I used to do before. I would take a color like this and honestly just place it all on here like such. Wasn't doing a whole lot of blending or at least I thought I was. And this is how this would look.
and I'm not exaggerating this is just what I would do which these are common mistakes we see a color we like it we go intensely hard on it um, I will put a little more color into this one but we want it to look smooth we don't want it to look bluntly extreme if you guys can see that it's a softer blend here we want it there but we don't want it too harshly where this is just like you're just you're just adding a lot you're adding a lot and it's not that this is horrible it's just this is not how you want the first shade of your um let me rephrase that you this is not bad it's just you don't want your color your first transitional color to be this intense unless that's what you're looking for which typically we're not we want it to be nice soft it's there we can see it but it's not the entire look right so i'm gonna go ahead and move on with another color switching out my brush and just so you guys know i'm using e this brush here is an e 23 by ColourPop, and this was the stone cold um collection so if you guys are interested that's this is what i'm using um i will give you guys a little close-up so you can see this brush is fluffy it's not um it's not dense you don't want a dense brush when you're starting and when i mean dense this is a dense brush it picks up all the product which we love right but when you're starting off with brushes like this you're going to get this result and it's actually going to be a lot worse so don't do that try to get a nice fluffy loose brush that's going to pick up the product and do its part without dragging a lot of product on so what i'm going to go ahead and do is right now i'm just looking for a perfect brush um, and your brushes mean everything so brushes that i would suggest is like this all these types of brushes that have fluffy i mean this one's a little angled more than the others but they are it's nice and fluffy you can get the job done this way um same with these they're fluffy brushes i got these from morphe and some from ColourPop, as you guys know um but i'm gonna use this um e22 by the Co the stone Co code um selection from ColourPop. and what i'm gonna go ahead and do is make this intense um and how i like to do it is really really simple and i'm not gonna complicate it um i like to use bold colors so you guys can really see what your girl is working with. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is to intensify this look is add a darker color. Can you see that? And I'm not being heavy handed. You don't wanna be heavy handed on this look because it can really escalate and I don't think that's what anybody want. But can you see that definition? Now it's kind of like, an, it's giving it definition. I don't know what else to say but that. Um, and I'm just gonna intensify it. And you can use, again, whatever color you want, but this is what you're aiming to do. And stay underneath this bone now. We don't wanna get rid of the work we already placed down, so try to stay underneath that bone and drag this color across. And I'm going to only keep it right underneath because I'm going to then show you guys what I would do to add more, like, pop to it. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. So I'm just, I'm just placing this color right here. Not going too hard, not going too crazy with this look. So this is what I want to do, is just add a little bit of warmth, some definition right across. Again, I'm taking this color all the way over and again everyone has a preference in how they like to apply their eyeshadow um, but this is still should be the way that you are learning how to do eyeshadow is by taking the lighter color another color that's probably similar and deeper taking that type of color right underneath And then I'm gonna show you guys with a different brush. Actually, with the same brush, I'm going to go ahead and show you what not to do. Don't do this, guys. Do not go in there with this color. Sorry, let me pull this long. This is a long <laughs> palette. Uh, I'm, I'm using the mirror, though. Um, you don't wanna do this. You don't wanna go back and forth. 
just putting the color on there like such you know we don't want that I'm gonna go back with this other color that I was using just so you guys can see you don't want to be doing this it's just it's so harsh it's so it's just it's so harsh so I'm gonna show you guys now how I like to um, add shimmer to my looks and I know this is a little dramatic and a lot of people are like well we wouldn't do that anyway but you'll be surprised I used to do it I used to actually drag this color all the way up to my brow I don't know who I thought I was but <laughs> I did do it um, what I want to show you guys now is how can I incorporate shimmers on top of matte so honestly this is like your holy grail right here you want to make sure that you're using matte colors and that you're adding shimmers that's how we make the eye look pop right um, I'm trying to look for a good shimmer and I may have to just kind of switch out of that palette because they're just nothing but, um, rainbow like colors. So I'm going to go with my Yoda palette, which is so cute, right? I'm going to be using this little gold over here. I'm sorry, this gold here, I'm going to be using this gold and we're going to go in and really make this whole look come together. And honestly, it's literally this simple. It's not complicated. Don't overcomplicate your shadows, and especially when you're a beginner. You don't want to do that. You're going to overwhelm yourself. So start with like two colors. That's it. That's all we want. And then what we're going to do is just add some shimmer. We're just going to add a little bit of shimmer in here. I'm not even going to take it all the way up as I normally would like to do. I want to show you guys because all lids are different and they're shaped differently. You don't want to go too crazy. So I'm going to show you guys how to keep it kind of on the normal side. And then I'm going to show you what I used to do because I was a mess before I gotten better. Um, I'm going to now diffuse out this color. As you guys can see, I'm going to diffuse it with a clean brush. No colors on here. And I'm just gonna diffuse the colors together to make sure it's seamless and I'm just blending. That's all I wanna do is blend this out. Blending. And you're always welcome to go back in if you want to intensify this look, go back in with that color and just intensify it just like that no more no less and then make sure that you're diffusing out those harsh lines with a clean brush and this is what you should get this is it now what you should not be doing again with this eye and this is what I used to do so don't judge me but judge me this is what I would do And I would put more pizzazz and, and jazz this up a little bit more, but honestly, this is kind of like what I would feel like that was good enough for me and I felt like I accomplished something um, and I really wasn't. So, so you guys can now see what you should be doing, what you should not be doing. And the reason in, that I show you so dramatically with these colors, because I really want you to see the definition, how, what it looks like when you're blending. And this already looks 20 times better than something like this. If this is what you are doing, stop it now. I'm teaching you how <laughs> detailed, how you can see the pink, how you can see the intenser like orangey pink here, and then just a little bit of shimmer. And I it still diffused it, you know what I mean? Where here, it is just color and then shimmer and again yes this is a little bit dramatic the, these colors you probably wouldn't typically grab for but it doesn't even matter if it's something what the reality is is that 
this is what a lot of us make mistakes because we get overwhelmed we're applying way too much we're not taking our time in blending so this is the look that we tend to look and we'll be like oh this looks crazy and wipe it off when if you just you learn how to like this eye it's just a lot more cohesive even though these crazy colors are on my face it looks good when you're doing it the proper way you can literally use this method no matter what eyeshadows you're using um always think light to dark do not just place on your lid one color because one thing i will say with makeup artists is, is that you never know how many colors are going into it so don't just you know look at a picture and think that's two three colors um or you know think that it's more colors than what it isn't sometimes it is about three colors sometimes it's about one color and sometimes it's more you have to make sure when you're doing it that you just stick to what you know and if you want to do intricate looks um always start with light to dark um always use a primer guys because that's going to help you in the long run um and try to make sure that you use the lightest color all over the lid but not into your brow do not do this this is like this doing your colors this high up i can't even see but i doing your colors all the way up in here all the way up in your brow that's not a thing i just want to make that clear unless you're doing um a dramatic look and it's intentional this because i'm the queen of eyeshadows into your brows i'm the queen of this moment right here this is not it don't do this and then have the audacity to put shimmer there too we need some space where it's nice coloration you know that's happening and like it stays right up in here it should not go into your brow that's not natural looking and for me i don't like my brows to be colored i do like that it's high up that's fine but i don't want it to go into that brow this this is this is not okay if you're blending and you're using all that space on your brow all the way up into your brow this is the look you're gonna get and to me this looks insane so let's try to avoid that by all means um and what we want to do is focus all the deep rich colors on the center in the center of your eye even if you wanted to bring that color even more into your look you can as long as you're doing it where it's noticeably intentional and i feel like that's the best way i can word it i'm not really good with my words guys but you know you want to make sure that your intense colors are about here outside of the eye you don't want the intense color to be in focused right here you want the nice light colors and your shimmers to be about here and then that transitional color right here so when you go in with your shimmers or whatever color you're choosing to use you already have a diffused look where here we just we got a lot happening you know we got a we got all this shimmer that's not quite blended at all um we have this harsh line that's not blended at all and then you know we have it all the way up in our brows these are not these are not this is not what we want you know this is not what we want so i'm going to move on to liner so now that I've showed you guys what should you should do and what you shouldn't do, I'm gonna show you what you should and should not do with your eyeliner. And I will put a disclaimer, I'm a work in progress when it comes to eyeliner. I, I honestly don't like eyeliner and that's because I just like my eyes to look as big as possible and I feel like eyeliner kind of makes your eyes look small. Depends on how much you put on. So I'm very light handed when it comes to eyeliner, but I'm gonna show you guys this is what I would do.
So that's me on a good eyelining day. You see that? Like, mine's is always a struggle bus because I probably should have went higher. But this is what my eyeliner looks like. Like, this is a good eyeliner for me. Everyone's is different. Again, I'm a struggle bus with the eyeliner, but this was what I would like um, on my eye. Now, let me show you what you should not be doing because I got that one for sure. Um, do not be heavy handed and literally do this and go as high as you can from the beginning when you're starting because this is too thick. Personally speaking, this is too thick. This is way too much. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have an unrealistic um, thickness happening that you have to keep up all the way to the end. So this is a no-no. This is an absolute no-no. That's too much. That's way too much eyeliner. Now, some of you guys are like, oh, it looks fine. N no, no, this does not look okay. And let me explain, this takes up half your eye. Like when I look up, all you see is black and orange, somewhat gold. This is like just the right amount of eyeliner I would suggest to anyone is right about here. This is too much. It's too thick. You're laying it on too heavy. It may look good, but the reality is, is that it's just too thick. You can do it without having to be so harsh, so heavy handed. Um, you know, there's just no need for that. <laughs> there's just no need for that. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys some things I personally suggest that you don't do. Um, and that's even with your lip liners. Let's talk about overlining our lips. I like to overline my lips, but I don't like to go crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe um, my lipstick off. It's not much left, but I had some on. Let's move on to lip lining. So here's some do's and don'ts. Again, this is the don't side. Don't do this. Don't do this to your eyes. And what I'm about to show you, please stop doing this to your lips as well. I like to overline my lips. Clearly, I don't have big, big lips and I don't have super small ones, but it's there. And I still like to overline them because I like my lips to look juicy, just like everybody else. I'm gonna show you guys as an example what you should and should not be doing. If we're overlining the lips, I'm gonna start on this side to show you what you should be doing. And then on the other side, I'm gonna show you what you shouldn't be doing. So this is a yes, we want this, we like this. This, This is gonna be a no for me. And because I have small lips, um, or I should say a medium sized lips, the reason why this is a no for me is because this is actually not on my lips at all. This is completely the upper part of my lip and this is not acceptable. Like, what am I doing here? What is the purpose of my liner being on the top of my lip? This is a yes because this is my lip line that I'm overlining and I'm just adding to it. I'm not going too far up where if I was to eat something, I put like, okay, so can you guys see the difference? And I'm holding the pencil because I want you guys to able to see literally symmetrically this makes sense where this doesn't make sense. Yes, you can do it this way, but why are we literally overlining to the point that it's on the top of my face? It's literally on the top of my face. This is my lip, this is my face. 
I personally don't encourage this. So try to keep it literally on your lines of your actual lips and overline it, fill it in a little bit more. This is insane. And to further prove it guys, we're gonna go in with a nice little lipstick. Um, let's just go with this nude one here from Juvia's Place. I haven't reached for these in a while. So I'm gonna be using this color to demonstrate. See what this looks like in comparison to that. I hate this. This, this is crazy. Yes, it makes my lips just a smudge bit fuller looking, but in person, this looks crazy. Where this looks natural, this looks like my lip. This looks like what, what's going on, what, what's happening to you. This whole side of my face looks like why. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on so you guys can see the entire look. We're gonna move on to blush and what not to do versus what we should be doing with our blush. So we're not gonna apply our blush this way by smiling and just applying. Do you, do you see? Do you see where this is going? This is what some of y'all look like out there. Versus taking a little bit of that blush, we're gonna make sure all that excess is off and we're just gonna add it to the, we can add it to the apples of the cheeks and I have a very narrow face. So I add literally just a smudge and what I like to do is use damp like tapping motion, sorry. I like to use tapping motions and I like to even bring it up. Why not bring it up into the hair, into the face? That's only if you feeling, you know, a little feeling yourself and you wanna take a risk. But if you don't, you just stay literally, you can smile, but what we don't want is just to immediately start here. Start on the sides of your face, work that product to the apples of your cheeks and let it come to the back. That's where we want all that color at. We don't want the color immediately when you see. Can you see how that looks? Even with me bringing it up to my temple, it still looks very natural. This is this is a no. This is a no. This is this is a no no. Okay? So this do and don't is a real thing. So just try to make sure that this is how you're applying your eyeshadows, your blushes, your highlighters, your lip line, your lip liners. Like this is what I can't even stress it. Just don't go out of your house looking like this. You know, your girl's here. She's trying to save y'all so we can do this more. I would love to see less of this and more of this. <laughs> but that is it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end out this video and I will see you in my next one.